the patient will benefit from cyber knife. Uh, the patient who will benefit from uh, benefiting from any of the serotic to radio surgery technology before. Uh, so for uh, brain tumors, um, there are some benign brain tumors and uh, malignant brain tumors, and some benign conditions such as AVM or trigeminal neuralgia. The real benefit comes when we are talking about tumors that's outside of the brain. Because before, we do not really have practical solution to do a serotic radio surgery in the body. So this is the first and most practical serotic radio surgery of the body equipment that's available. Despite its name, CyberKnife doesn't use a knife. Instead, it eliminates tumors in the brain and elsewhere with highly targeted beams of radiation. This radio surgery is non-invasive, so patients experience no blood loss, no pain, and minimal, if any, side effects. Physically, they should not experience any significant discomfort. Their CyberKnife treatment will consist merely of coming in, having a mask fitted to their face, and in effect that will remind them to keep their heads still during the treatment, but it does not actually constrain them in a, in a meaningful manner. They will lie on a bed, and the noises they will hear will simply be that of the robot moving around their head delivering the radiation. The treatment can be stopped at any time if the patient has to use the restroom, and so it's a generally pleasant experience. Usually treatments run from about a half an hour to about two hours, depending on the complexity. And during that time, they can even bring a copy of their own music if they'd like to relax to that. What makes CyberKnife unique is its real-time imaging. Digital cameras take hundreds of x-rays of the tumor during treatment. Any change in the size or location of the tumor is immediately documented and fed to the CyberKnife system, so the treatment plan can be modified right away. This allows CyberKnife to deliver radiation with the utmost precision, usually less than a millimeter from the target. In the old days, and once again the old days aren't that long ago, gamma knife, linear accelerated treatments uh, were based on uh, round spherical delivering of radiation treatments. Now this particular instrument, the CyberKnife, delivers it at a number of different stations, and each station where the robot stops, it can turn uh, three different angles in order to deliver the radiation treatment. Uh, and every time it stops at one of these stations, the digital camera takes a picture of the patient's skull, such as in a brain tumor, and makes sure the patient doesn't move. If the patient moves, then the computer software directs the computer a robotic arm to compensate for the movement so the target or tumor in space is never not treated and the surrounding normal brain is never treated inadvertently. With its improved accuracy and enhanced patient comfort, CyberKnife may offer new hope to people with tumors previously considered inoperable or untreatable. At the Chicago CyberKnife Radio Surgery Center at Advocate Christ Medical Center, a team of specialists evaluates each patient to determine the best treatment. The CyberKnife program here at Christ really takes advantage of our subspecialty or multidisciplinary philosophy. And that is to say that every patient who comes here will have three treating specialists, including the radiation oncologist, the treating surgeon, and the physicist. That way we can truly say to the patient, that we are exploring all of the angles. And if surgery is their best option, we have the personnel to perform that procedure. If radiosurgery is their best option, we have those people in place as well.